Welcome back to the channel, YouTubians. Pat Card Skill Dreams here. Uh, first off, I just want to thank everyone for the support uh, in the last couple videos. I really appreciate your support, the views, comments, likes, thumbs ups. Um, very much appreciated. Uh, so, this video, I'm going to have a, a bit of an update on my hashtag off road GB24. So, the off road group build that I've started. Um, also, I'll let you know too if you're thinking about joining in on the group build. Uh, you have till December 31st to complete your build, so there's lots of time left. If you want to join in, anything off road uh, doesn't matter. Um, no, the restriction. There's no restrictions on detail or anything like that. Just as long as it's uh, something that goes off road, right? Um, so so just kind of a recap this is the kit i'm building so it's the half bronco half cab with the dune buggy and trailer um <clears throat> so i'm not a big fan of this half cab i was going to switch it out because i do have the regular um bronco uh i was going to switch it out for that but then once I opened this kit, I realized some of the parts are in this kit, but they don't show it in the directions, which is kind of cool, which I didn't realize until I was going through all the parts. I was going through the directions and kind of... Anyways, I've got a mock-up for you guys. Um, so what it does have, and I'll show you, is the rear seats. Actually, I'm going to turn this around because it's hard to see, like here. And then if I turn when I turn my camera around, I um, I have a better better definition. I use a higher um, higher camera, whatever you call it. Um, so, anyways, I'll get you turned around and uh, we'll have a look at this. Okay, so here we are. Here's my mock-up. Um, so I think this looks really cool. I've um, so just as I was saying earlier, um, this half cab I didn't like the way it looked, so I cut the roof, and this is the back window, which would would have went on here like this, on the roof. So I cut that roof off because I didn't like how it looked. So it's, this is going to be a little top on it and I'm going to make this look like it's a some sort of canvas or something. Um, try and make that look some something like that. Um, so that was my goal here and I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so I didn't know these roll bars were in this kit. They're not in the directions. So this is a part of that. Um, these bars here are from an old uh, Chevy kit. Um, so I stole those out. These were actually one glued together. And then I took them apart, just cleaned them up, getting them cleaned up and to make a, a, a nice roll cage for this. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I've also removed the, all the trim off the sides, the marker lights. And then of course I re-radiused this rear wheel well. So this is looking pretty good. I think I'm, I'm almost ready for primer on the body everything's been sanded down um oh yeah i'm not going to use the on the back i'm not going to use the tire carrier 
So I'm going to fill those holes in still. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> so, so the half cab comes with this box. So this is just this piece which goes in here. And this is the divider that goes under the piece, under this piece that I cut off. And that makes the box. So I'm going to totally omit this. And what you put that over at is, over is the, is just the regular uh, Bronco kit. Um, so that's just an add on to make the half cab. So what I also found in the kit, which I didn't know was in there, is the rear seat. Um, and they go in the same holes that the box, the bottom of the box goes into. So that's cool. It's just, uh, I don't have to fill any holes or drill it out. But the back seat is here, so I'm going to use that in there. Um, these are the other part of the roll bar. They're in there as well. Just, just if you didn't know or whatever about this kit. So another part of the seat and then the bottom of the seat here. So that's really cool. Um, I was gonna go into my other kit and grab that seat because I wanted, because I wanted an open cab, and then I found it in here. Because I'd went through the directions and I didn't see anything else in there so I just assumed they weren't and then I started going through the parts and realized they are in there so that's really cool for Revel to keep those parts in um there was something else I wanted to talk about um oh yeah just the wheels these are from, um, yeah, I think these are from Fireball Model Works. I got them a long time ago. Um, so they're 35s. So here's just an example of the kit tires. And these big meats. So huge difference. These might even be 37s. Can't read that. There is markings on these tires. That's really cool. Can you guys see that? It's right here. I can't see it. Can't make it out. I think it's a 35. 35, 12 and a half. Maybe 18 or 17 inch tire uh, rim wheel. So yeah, um, quite, quite the difference. Big tires. I have the lift from Fireball Mod Works as well. And it's about... I was just doing some quick measurements on the on the shocks compared to the kit ones and it looked to be about three and a half millimeter difference so here's the kit so yeah quite 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 a bit larger, or sorry, longer and higher, about three and a half inches, uh, millimeters. So I don't know if this is the height it's going to be. I have no idea. I still have to mock up the all these new parts. Um, so that'll be another video. I'll go through these parts. I'll compare them and I'll mock them up. And then I'll 
see how high this thing is going to be. And if it's not high enough, I can always add blocks to the to the front end and the rear end and, and just get it get a little bit of more height out of it. Um, but as this is looking now, I'm, I still need to add a bunch of more bars in here. Um, cross meeting the front to the back and uh, yeah it's gonna look pretty cool I think um, so this is the color I'm hoping to go with I think this will look really cool it says interior green but it's a, a, a semi gloss color so I think that'll look pretty cool on there um, and I think it just the way it's sitting right now it looks pretty cool um, with this top like this so that's all that is I'm gonna make this look well not make it look up but I'm just gonna paint it either in a black or like a um, maybe what do you call it leather color maybe a dark leather I think that'll look really cool with that color so yeah that's all I got um, hope everyone's doing well like I said if you want to join in on the group build there's still lots of time um, December 31st and I uh, hope everyone's doing well and prayers for those that need them and uh, talk to you all soon I don't. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you very much.